Saturdays can be one of the things that are, can be amazing, busy, so much to do. And then you have your kids, so you can't really do much if you have to take them anywhere. So Saturdays are fun day. So you wanna see how I spend my Saturday? Well, join me as I get to show you what Saturday is like. I mean a good Saturday in my house. So follow me and see what we do. No. So it's Saturday, it's hot. But the cool thing, we live in a neighborhood that has a swimming pool for the families that live in this Daddy. neighborhood. Yes, yes, do you know who's there? So we're here to do a little swimming. Yes, can you see them? I know, it's fun, right? You ready to go in? So it really helps that I have a place to go that I can go anytime I want, which is really fun. So anyway, we're here for a little swimming. It's a Saturday, it's hot, no need to be in the home. Kapood, yes, who's there? Can you see who's there? Kids are having fun. Where's Ryder? You see Ryder? Look at someone's feet. Uh oh. There's Ryder and Skylar having a good time. You wanna go swimming? Uh oh. Uh oh. She wants to go in. She wants to go over there. I know. It's sad that I'm taking them away. I know they would have loved to stay over here. You wanna go, Bella? My kids love being at the pool. They could be there all day, all night if they could. But there are other things we have to do. So getting them away from the water, it's going to be a challenge. A few tears, but we got to do something else. Let's see what we can do. So guys, did you have fun? Yeah. So what did you do? Did you swim with other kids? I yeah. swam with the friends. I saw you jumping up in the water. I tried to jump in the for my for the first time, I tried and I did it. Wow! Two times or three or four. Wow! I fell on my bum. That is awesome. Okay, guys, we're gonna go in in the house and change. Okay? So growing up, I never watched TV. I think my first time to watch TV, I was maybe. 14 or 15. So I've never seen TV before. So that means I have absolutely no match, I'll say, with my kids when it comes to uh, animation and uh, things they grew up watching. You know, they all know about Disney. They know every character. They know everything. I, I have no idea. Entanglement, I don't know. I have no, no relation in that. But they've taught me on really how to relate. And I've watched lots of movies, I can tell you. Sometimes I sit down and all I can hear in my head is Coco Melon. I mean, it could be some song from who knows where. <laughs> so it, it's been really fun to learn from my kids. So someone gave us a uh, ticket to go watch the play and the play is about the movie Annie. I have heard it's a good movie. Never watched anything, but I'm really excited, you know? But two, to see my kids really educate me about different things. So today we're about to go watch, yes, uh, the play. And we're grateful for people who gave us the tickets as well. So, well, I can't wait to watch, I would say, but I have a toddler, so we'll see how that works. But I'm really excited. Have you watched any? Annie? And what do you know about Annie? Or what have you learned about Annie? Okay, guys, do you know where we're going? Movie. Yes, we're going to watch our premiere of a movie. We can't wait to watch and I hope you're gonna like it as well. We are in Charlotte anyway. Bringing six kids to the city in the movies. A place where you have to watch them every step away. Okay guys, keep going, keep going. We're getting there, promise, almost there. Okay, come on, let's go. We'll take the pictures after, come on. Do you already have your tickets? Yes. All right, if you wouldn't mind going out this way, and go through that next open. Oh, door. I see, come thank on. Thank you, enjoy the show. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. Hi there. Tickets? Yes, I have lots of them. All right. One, three, four, seven. Yay. Let's go. Look who's here. How are you? Hey, it's How you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you ready to watch any? Look, your sisters and brothers are already sitting down. You want to go? Bring a toddler is one of the hard part. She's going to cry. We're gonna move out the whole shebang. You wanna go watch? You gonna watch any? Look, it is beautiful there, see? See the people? So, we're in the hallway. In the hallway, because we can't stay in with my toddler over there, see? Not easy to watch, a two hour event. I mean, she's done really well. Being quiet for an hour, that's cool. 
I miss most of the things, but it's okay. My kids will tell me later if all goes good. So, when you have a toddler, you watch most things halfway, or from afar, or by sound, or not at all. So we're in the lobby, apparently my princess could not stand being in there, which is understandable. I mean, she tried for 40 minutes, that was fine. After that, no. So, I didn't want to be that parent that everyone looks at like, who child is that? Why is your child screaming? You can't take your child away. Well, I didn't want to be that child. So, I decided to go out and just miss out on the plane. So, that's the day. Saturday is full of a lot of things we can do. And so we're gonna show you something else. Yes, we went to see something, but two, we get to play. So let's take you to the park. One of my favorite parks in Charlotte. It's called Freedom Park. So let me take you with my kids and you see what they're gonna do, the fun they're gonna have. Join us there. Foscare is one of the hardest journey, I can tell you. It's hard, it's really hard. But at the same time, for some of us who've walked it, we really understand why it's important to be there for our kids, you know? So this evening as well, we're going to meet a family. You know, they have six kids, you know? And they are all about Foscare. And I love their passion, you know? So my kids have never met them, but best way to get to know someone's kids, but also the best place to really have fun when you have 12 kids in total is the park and food, you know. So, you know, well, join me as I get to really share and get to really know this family as well. I've met mom and dad, but I've never met their kids. So I'm really excited to go to meet their kids, but I get to bring my kids as well. So it's gonna be a sweaty day and I know it's gonna be 80 degrees outside, but hey, do you know any kid that doesn't like the park? Nan, make friends in a heartbeat, absolutely. Doesn't love food? Yes. Hopefully my teenager gets to make friends there as well. Who knows? So join me as I really get to journey with my village. My village that means we tend to hang out with people who truly understand our kids, understand trauma, understand full scale, you know, that we get to learn from each other. And that's my village. And truly appreciate them as well. And you too, you're my village. So let's go to the park. See how this whole union, reunion, or family meeting together goes. So join me to the park. So it's park time. I mean, I'm lucky if I find my kids or if I find them. There's only one I'm chasing right now. Yes, let's go. Yes, bringing the kids to the park is fun. But when you spend most of the time looking for them, you know, see my other one right there? She thinks she owned the entire park. So she is going and going and going. Okay, I'll come and push you. But I'm pushing someone here already. Okay, I'm gonna push you, but then I'm gonna run back to the little one, okay? See, they know how to get up. Put them up, put them down. I'm going back to my other child. Here we go. So when you come to the park and you bring your so many kids, you can only push one at a time, but they all want to be pushed at the same time. Whew, it's quite something. We're trying and making sure that they're okay in a big park. I'm about to yell at Anthony to help me. Bella, are you enjoying it? Are you? What did you like the most? I liked coming to the park and I got to play volleyball with some people, so that was nice. Okay. You didn't like the movie Annie? What, the play Annie? The live action? It was pretty nice, but you know, uh, overall, park was my favorite. Really? Yeah. I got to meet some new people, hang out, play volleyball. It was nice. Okay. That's awesome. Me too. I'm tired. Ooh. Kids, you ready to go home? What a Saturday. That's how we enjoy most of a Saturday. Today was exceptional, you know? We got to meet our friends who are also false friends uh, who came to visit from Raleigh, so which was really fun. My kids had fun. We're leaving the park. Apparently they want to stay a little bit longer and I'm like, no. I'm ready to go home. It's been, what, six hours since we've been out doing this? Okay guys, are you ready to go home? No. Yes, and when we get home, people, you must take sh shower. Many of you have asked, Peter, we want to help. How can we be? And I know we can't all be false friends, but I know we can all do something small. So could you join our patron? In that way, we get to make more room makeovers for teens who are aging out, but also for foster families that want to help, but they lack resources. So we can give them resources. So join our patron link, which is below, and we promise we'll use your funds to help more children. So it was really fun having uh, other foster families at the park with us. You know, they're a wonderful family, you know? I 
as false friends we understand each other uh, we understand our kids go through so sometimes it's easy to hang out with the same kids you know because when our kids act up they they know oh it's expected in some way and as as false parents we feel comfortable sometimes you know when your kid is doing something that nobody else understands <laughs> but when you're within the circles or within the among the people that understand your child it lets you you know rest and enjoy the time so park was the best time we could take the kids park is a time we take them to play explore do things they've never seen oh wow well, they've seen all of them. but meet people they've never met before and get to play and get to learn hey i give someone space before i take my own you know so it's it's really a joy to to be with our families but also a joy to take them out it's what we do if i could do it every day i could but getting them off the park so always a battle cries and cries but it's fun again i thought you liked our saturday and see what we get to do but too the people we get to meet the people we hang out with our kids really survive every day you know for some people out there you're always like thinking huh how can i be a false friend i have a full-time job what do i do you know and hopefully these things that we get to share with you help you to see just how normal our kids are but also how normal life is and and the joy of truly providing a safe and loving place for someone that needs it the most so fostering i love it it's my journey it's my destiny for sure but i know out you there you can do the same as well love on those kids and provide for them you know so leave comments teach me more things i can do with my kids especially weekends and summertime you know so tell me what you and your family get to do maybe we could learn a few and we could do the same as well joy to see you hang out with your family love them dearly just you know you're seen hard and known and we love you see you soon